Hey, what's up guys? So today I decided to do the type of producers I've actually met. So this video is actually inspired by a lot of you guys and a lot of the guys I've worked with over the past years helping them write music and making sounds for them. So don't get offended if this is you. It's all in good fun. And these are the type of producers I've met. You're probably going to meet when you call out with them. All right guys, so the first type of producer you might call out with is going to be the DJ. Now this guy, this guy has been out doing DJing and stuff and he barely noticed that in order to get far in the DJ game, you have to start producing your own music. But one of the most annoying things that they will ever say to you whenever you're in the studio or on Skype with them is, ah, I don't think that shit's gonna work in the club, man. Isn't it just fucking irritating when, when you're working with someone they're like, I don't think it's gonna work in the club or well, I don't think it's gonna fucking work, man. I don't, I don't think it's gonna work up your ass. Now the second guy that you might work with is going to be the perfectionist. You start a collab with him and you guys get far in it, but along the line something starts bothering him and it's going to take a few months for him to be like, okay, it's good, let's keep going. Man, this, this melody is sick, dude, but I don't know. Not right. Maybe we should work on it longer. Yes. Now the next guy is gonna be one of my favorites. It's gonna be the guy who can picture the song being played at a festival and they're just telling you, yeah man, this is gonna happen. Damn man, this track is fucking sick. I bet it's gonna take us to the top once Spinning Records releases it, and then Pascal's gonna write us a letter saying, Dear Ball Lickers, can you please come headline EDC? And I can already picture it. It will be dark, and then you would hear strings coming in slowly going, and then the curtain will fall and it will say, Ball Lickers! And then all the girls will go crazy getting on the guy's shoulders and then the guys are gonna smell the girl's vagina but they won't say anything because the music will be so powerful it will overpower the smell their audible senses will overpower the smell and then it will show ball lickers and then the song will start dun, 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 dun. fireworks will come out and then we'll go motherfucker are you ready for ball lickers Another guy you might encounter is the guy who finished the song in his head and you guys are in the studio trying to figure out how to make it because the conversation goes something, well, pretty much what they say is this. Hey man, I went to a fucking rave yesterday and then Martin Garrix got on and then he dropped this song that goes boom, 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 dun, dun, boom, 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 dun, 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 boom, boom. So then I was like, oh shit, I'm so inspired to make a track. So, you know, I was coming up with it and it goes something like this, like la da 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 da